Hello again. In this video, we are going to be capturing an image or creating an image. This will be a .wim, a WIM file. We're not going to do the full system because it just takes so much time. Instead, we're going to use the same commands and we're going to make a partial for the system. And to begin, you'll need Windows Automated Installation Kit installed, the AIK. We will run the deployment tools command prompt as administrator. So you can right click and then run as administrator. Say yes to the prompt if it comes up and you'll see this. So to begin I'm gonna go ahead and open up a file explorer here at my C drive so we can see what we have right at the root of my C drive because we're going to start by creating a directory here to store our image and the command for that is simple it is M as in Mike, D as in Delta, make directory and then backslash and the directory name or the folder name that you're creating we're going to call this images hit enter and we'll watch it build it over here so the same thing is going here right clicking and create new folder and then naming it so it's just the command version. Alright, once that's done, what we're going to be doing is the image X with a switch to capture. And then we're going to put in quotes the location of the directory that we're going to be building an image with. In this particular case, it's going to be the C drive backslash program files. the Windows AIK directory. And we're going to do the whole directory into this image. Let me browse there in the File Explorer just so you can see it. Inside Program Files, down here to Windows AIK. So we're turning this whole directory into an image contained in here. So we have the source. We need to give it the destination, which is the C drive, images, and then we need to give it a file name to create in this file, we'll call it the waik.wim and then in quotes a description and we'll just call it the waik note that on the description I used quotes because I wanted it to take that exactly as I typed it and in the source I used the quotes because we have a space here in program files in the destination there's no spaces so we can leave the quotes off of that we hit enter and it'll go and locate that directory and it'll go through and find what items it can exclude and then it will start capturing that whole directory and this will probably take a couple of minutes I think total size ends up being about a gigabyte so it might take anywhere up to a minute, two minutes, somewhere in there if you're doing an entire C drive, an entire computer for an image, you can expect that to take upwards of 15 minutes, sometimes more depending on the size of the image. If you have just a very generic base installation of Windows, then that might even be shorter. It could be 5 to 10 minutes. But the more programs you get onto it, the bigger the image becomes. Alright, so once this is completed, we will go ahead and I'll show you in the file explorer that that file has been created and then we'll go and take a look at it in the command line as well alright so since we're here we're gonna go ahead and open that images folder in the file explorer and we can see that WIM that was just created to do the same thing here we do directory backslash images and we can see there that file has been created so in here it's showing the total size as it looks like it's a little bit over a gig in the file explorer it shows it just under a gig so it's right around in there and then we're going to take this WIM file and we're going to add more to it so instead of using the capture switch we're going to start with the image X and then our switch is going to be append which basically says to add to this image file and 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to take another folder down inside that directory down here in our Windows AIK we are going to take the tools folder and we're going to append that once that's done we're going to take the docs folder and append that as well so we verify both of those exist so we'll just put it into here tools give it the destination which is here with the full file and then the description and this one is the wake tools hit enter and it should append that into that same image file since that's just a, a single directory it's actually pretty small so it's not going to change the size of our image file by very much and once we have that done we can go ahead and do another directory images and look at it there again let me make the command prompt a little bit bigger here see if we can get both of those file sizes on the same screen and you can see before we appended the size is here and now that we have appended it went up just slightly so we'll go ahead and do another one for the docs folder or the docs directory so it'll be another image x forward slash append get my mouse out of the way and the source is the c drive program files windows aik and the docs the destination is back again in our C images wake.wim and the description of this will be the wake docs and we can see that processed in less than a second we can go and take a look at the file again we can see that after our first append here was our size and the second is here so again not a huge difference just a little bit of extra data and all of that was built within this WIM right here so we could be using that image to push out the WAIK the Windows Automated Installation Kit we could actually use that image copy it to uh, removable media like a flash drive copy it onto a, another computer and use that to install the WAIK with an image rather than the installation wizard. Um, that pretty much covers everything for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below, and I will see you in my next video.